Good evening, it's Kuro. Got a ranked game in my Chungmu. Going over the matchmaking, the enemy team has Double Azumo, Turpitz, Donskoy, Baltimore, Otago, and a Mogador rounding out the enemy team. The map is Greece, 3 cap domination, and we're going to kick this one off. And this one is uh, one of my lost videos. I was cleaning out uh, my video folder and somehow buried this gem of a game that's got a lot of good lessons about um, playing when you're strong uh, not playing the enemy's game and this game gets really close and down to the wire and it would have been easy for me to throw this game and you know uh, cost cost a win so right out of the gate, I'm headed to typically what it what is considered the contested cap, uh, and I I understand I'm, it's unlikely I'm going to be able to flip this cap quickly. I just want to get on it, deny the points to the enemy team, uh, but I also don't want to hang out really behind this. I want to see if I can if I can make some plays or something like that, and uh, you know right out of the gate. Um, just pushing up here and uh, you know just just gonna see what I can see right now I'm, I'm half expecting the Mogador to be rushing into the cap I'm popping my engine boost here right now because it's really common to get ambushed by radar ships So I do get a good spot on the enemy Mogador. My team is getting shots in there. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get any hits with that go around, but I got a couple more shots that came in and the enemy Mogador has been reset. So I know that they got some damage on him. Uh, I throw my torpedoes out here uh, and I'm basically making a dash for this island. The idea being uh, get protected from uh, we've got the Donskoy and the Baltimore, so they've got both of their radars out here on this cap. So that's going to be an un unfortunate amount of pressure here. I do push up. I do uh, proxy spot the Mogador. He's been chunked down fairly good. So that's, uh, you know, one of those advantages to getting that those early spotting in on the uh, on the enemy DD. When they're pushing through that danger zone especially if they push aggressive in there where they're coming you know right across here if you looked you saw me sail more out here and then come straight down behind the island you gotta learn to take the uh the safest angles to get in behind there to make yourself um, as narrow of a target as possible to the enemy so i do get a tour pit on this baltimore and this baltimore he just I don't even know what that was, but he, he gets deleted. I'm still radar detected. The uh, Mogador has left the cap. I'm flipping it. And now that this, uh, this radar is down, I'm pushing up here because I'm guessing that the Mogador has bailed out to the flank and he's gonna be trying to, he's gonna be looking for an ambush somewhere down here, probably on this Mogami. At least that's what I would do if I was that Mogador. And unfortunately, he's just so far ahead of me right now that I'm not going to be able to catch him. So I'm just going to throw some torpedoes out. Maybe I can catch this Donskoy. And I mean, my my Mogami, he's... This, this is why you don't push like this in a Mogami. He's caught in a crossfire between the Turpets the Donskoy and the Mogador and I mean he's already dead he just doesn't know it yet so this is where I'm gonna start talking about um, you know playing when you're when you're strong when you have a strong position and, and right now it's me and this Mogami and this Mogami's almost dead and I'm in danger of being run down by a Mogador there's a Donskoy back there none of it none of it's looking good to me 
I'm, I'm coming up here. Maybe I can get a smoke off on this Mogami, but it's highly unlikely. And I'm just making the call right now. This this Mogami, he's dead. I'm just going to start bailing back. And uh, I'm going to, you know, basically do what I, what I can. I am going to throw some torpedoes back down here. Maybe I get lucky and uh, get any torp hits on this Donskoy if he starts pushing. Now, I do get radar detected here. It's unfortunate. I know this Mogador is going to be rushing me close, and I'm going to be in a bit of a pickle with a crossfire. But this works out in my advantage in the long term because... The Mogador has blown his main battery reload booster. You can see I'm making myself hard to hit. Unfortunately, being in the crossfire, I can I can only dodge so much. Thankfully, I don't run a run aground. The radar is down. Looks like uh, torpedoes are in the ballpark, so I'm just gonna keep running. And uh, this is this is critical. If I, if I pick this fight here, I probably lose because this Donskoy is going to be able to help him out right here. Um, what I want to do, I want to fall back to... I, my Alaska's just let me know that he, he sees what's going on. He's going to be helping me. He's starting to turn in. And uh, I'm going to be able to use that uh, to my advantage to help out with uh, against this Mogador. So you can see the Mogador seeing the Alaska now. The Mogador's like, well, I can't keep chasing this destroyer. So he's he's gonna start pulling off. And here I'm I'm looking around and I'm I'm trying to see what's you get we've got the Donskoy there, we've got the Otago. Um so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna turn around and see if we can't isolate this Mogador because he's he's isolated right now. And you know, potentially there's there's the uh, opportunity where we can get a 2v1 here and, uh, you know, claw back a ship kill. My teams, we've got, you know, thankfully we're still holding a cap, uh, but we are down a ship. So, you know, we've got less guns in the fight than they do. So I do spot the Mogador here. And I'm just gonna let this Mogador kind of gunboat at my uh, at my Alaska a bit. Unfortunately, my Alaska is having a hard time hitting him, and I know that I've got to kind of help out in here. So now this this is this is why I kite the way I do. Even even with you know me being a decent aim, it is really hard to hit. A French uh, French destroyer when they're kiting at this sharp of an angle so I'm starting to, to dial it in and he's starting to take some damage and as soon as he turns out like that he, you know I it's so much easier for me to, to lead him the damage is gonna start racking up And I'm able to get a pretty good HP trade on him. Now, the, the downside is he's probably got his main battery reload booster. And even though I've got quite a bit of HP on him, uh, that main battery reload booster is very nasty. So I need to be really careful picking this fight. So I slam on the brakes instantly. He misses that first shot. That's missing 3-4k off me. And you can see how hard he's hitting, but that little, that little juke right out of the gate gives me just enough juice to pick up that kill on the Mogador. Now, that was a really expensive kill, but if that Mogador was roaming around back here, he would kill this Alaska in fairly short order, and he would be roaming all around back here, and it would be very, very difficult for, for me to make any sort of moves back down here. So it cost me a lot of HP, but it gave us the backfield. So I see that there is an Azumo pushing up. I'm not going to be able to torp him. He's going to be into the islands. So I'm looking to see, okay, what's here? We've got a Turpitz, but he's kiting out. 
and uh, I, I'm worried about where this Donskoy is. If I get radared all of a sudden, I, it's very easily that I could uh, I could die here. So I'm circling around because I, I'm just having that, that feeling that there's something else out here. And I'm really, I, I, I want to get that, that vision. Where's that Donskoy? Where is he? He's, he's, he's the X factor for me right now. And, you know, maybe I can also line up a, a torp drop on this Turpitz. And, okay, we've got Natago out here. So, since I'm out here, I'm going to take a few shots at this Azumo. Going to throw some torpedoes. Maybe I catch something in that gap. But I'm going to take some shots at the Azumo, try to get some uh, some resets while I use this island to uh, to break contact. Get a couple base defenses there. And I'm basically going to wrap around uh, because the enemy Donskoy is now spotted kiting south. And that that that's a huge... Uh, advantage for me with this radar falling south this lets me push back in here and start to apply some pressure back in here if if this Donskoy stays in this area the enemy probably wins uh, just because it's gonna be so difficult for me to try to retake the cap and it, it would take me so long to get over to C cap whereas this Donskoy could just you know rotate to this island and radar C. Uh, I mean, they, they, your radar cruisers can have so much, uh, impact on where they position over the, over the course of a battle. So here I'm looking, maybe I can line up a shot on this Otago. Um, I do feel like I'm getting some good things coming out here. I've got Namagi pushing. Uh, well, he's not really pushing. He's kind of kiting out in this direction. I, I, I am worried about the Amagi. He's been doing some, some kind of questionable plays. Somehow I get spotted over that little nook in the island there. And I got to get fancy with some dodging here. So that's something to, uh, that you need to consider. That even though they're, the island covers up a, a large area... Uh, you need to you need to take into account that there's a few places that uh, ships will be able to spot you. So I am keeping this Otago lit. He's, uh, I mean, this Otago's he's in a crossfire, and I'm I'm just waiting for this Amagi to, to dumpster this Otago. I mean, this is near perfect shot for for the Amagi. I see the, the shots from the Amagi coming in and not really much there. I'm just going to keep being patient, you know, uh, and I'm also seeing an opportunity right now. The enemy Azumo is stepping off the cap. He's like, okay, I capped. I'm, I'm going to go be useful somewhere else. And because this radar has pulled out and he's on the other side of the map, this is going to give me the opportunity to just come right back in here. And our points lead has kind of dwindled down uh, over the course of the game where, you know, we've got a couple dozen points on these guys. So can't really let these caps flip that long for the enemy team. So I, me jumping back in here this aggressive is really helping my team uh, keep up on their on their caps and not to mention while I'm doing that I um, I was getting some spotting on uh, on this Otago who's how, how this guy's still alive I don't I don't know but this is gonna be a really critical drop here I pushed up here because I see that this is Zumo you can see it right now I'm gonna turn in and I'm just gonna sail right back to the cap now what I didn't account for is spotting that Donskoy briefly. He pops radar and I get spotted. So since I'm spotted, let's see if I can kill an Otago. 
Now, I, I'm, I'm kind of ducking in behind this island because I want this Izumo to push. If I die here, I at least want to trade and keep the cap. We, my team does finally get the, uh, the kill on the Otago. The Izumo took the bait. He gets dev struck by my torps, and <laughs> and I get away with it. <laughs> So at this point, radar's down. Um, I know that there's still a turpid somewhere around here. I don't really know what this guy's doing, but what I wanted, you know, we're at 930 points. We can win on one cap. I just have to keep this this battleship off the cap. So my my concern is this battleship is just going to reverse right into the cap. So I'm spotting this gap. I want my team to be able to get some shots into this turpids, but I also want to be able to drop my torpedoes in here, but I got a timer on this because this Donskoy, he's going to be wrapping around and he's going to be pushing with his radar. And if he catches me, it ain't going to take, they, they can breathe on me and I'm, I'm gone and my team will probably end up losing this. So it, it's very much a... A very dangerous situation especially because my smoke is kind of in in the way right now uh, so we do get a spot on the Azumo now my team their HP is just they're shredded they're running for their lives okay Don's Koi pops up and I'm I'm going I, I've got to go I'm at 12 kilometers if I get radar you know it's gonna it's gonna get rough 12.1 I'm safe it was a very long moment in time waiting for that 0.1 kilometers to to tick over but you see that the turpids he uh, I guess he felt the pressure decided not to to back into the cap and that cost them the game if this turpids had uh, even pushed in there and tanked a torp or two, uh, chances are they win this game too. Uh, and these games are decided on these little decisions like that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. As usual, um, the link for the build that I use is in the video description below, as is an invite to the community discord. And if you get any utility out of these videos, maybe uh, if, if you can afford it, consider becoming a Patreon. Uh, the link for that is in below, uh, in the description below. Uh, I'm in the process of, you know, really trying to improve the quality of, uh, of the content here as far as, uh, you know, the, the audio, the recording, all of that stuff. And... Uh, the patreons are the guys that are speeding this process up and uh, i can't thank these guys enough so anyway uh if just had a brain fart if you have any questions or comments leave them below and i hope you have a good night and i will talk to you later